Welcome to Effector from the Electronic Frontier Foundation. This is the audio edition of EFF's emailed newsletter geared towards keeping you on the bleeding edge of your digital rights. This is Effector Volume 35, Issue 3, titled International Women's Day is Every Day. This issue was published on Tuesday, March 14th, 2023, and I'm your host, Member Outreach Assistant Christian Romero. Let's start with some top features. First up, Coded Resistance, the comic. From the days of chattel slavery until the modern Black Lives Matter movement, Black communities have developed innovative ways to fight back against oppression. EFF's Director of Engineering, Alexis Hancock, documented this important history of codes, ciphers, underground telecommunications, and dance in a blog post that became one of our favorite articles of 2021. In collaboration with The Nib and illustrator Chelsea Saunders, we now have adapted Coded Resistance into comic form to further explore these stories. From Coded Songs of Harriet Tubman to Darnella Frazier's recording The Murder of George Floyd. Next up, podcast episode When Tech Comes to Town. Catherine Bracey, co founder and CEO of the Oakland based Tech Equity Collaborative, has spent her career exploring ways to build a more equitable tech driven economy. She speaks with EFF Cindy Cohen and Jason Kelly about following the money and changing the regulations that underpin the tech sector so that companies are more inclined to be thoughtful about supporting, not exploiting, the places that they call home, creating stronger, thriving communities. Next, tools for resistance. When online violence is alarmingly common globally, women are often more likely to be the target of mass online attacks, non-consensual leaks of sensitive information and content, and other forms of online violence. EFF's Surveillance Self-Defense provides an online guide to defending yourself and your friends from surveillance. In addition to tutorials for installing and using security-friendly software, Surveillance Self-Defense walks you through concepts like making a security plan, the importance of strong passwords, and protecting metadata. Next up, the fight to overturn FOSTA, an unconstitutional internet censorship law, continues. More than four years after its enactment, the Allow States and Victims to Fight Online Sex Trafficking Act, FOSTA, remains an unconstitutional law that broadly censored the internet and harmed sex workers and others by chilling their ability to speak, organize, and access information online. And although FOSTA's text may not name gender, the regulation of speech exacerbates the censorship of discussions on sexuality and gender identity online as well as increased profiling of LGBTQ people. And for our final feature, Take Action, Stop All Digital Dragnet Surveillance of Vulnerable People. Privacy threats should never stand in the way of our ability to make choices about our body. But with the sudden disappearance of Roe v. Wade's protections, and as many states pass a number of bounty laws, criminalizing abortion and gender-affirming care, people seeking needed care face new digital privacy threats. This bill would protect people seeking abortion and gender-affirming care from dragnet-style digital surveillance. Tell your California Assembly member that you support AB 793, and urge them to support it too. And now, let's cover some upcoming events. First up, Open Source 101. EFF is proud to support this year's Open Source 101, hosted by a team at All Things Open on March 23rd. Next, Hack Summit. EFF supporters are invited to join Hack Summit, a virtual event hosted between March 31 and April 1, where you can learn about blockchain coding concepts from speakers including Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin. And for our final event, we've got EFF at Black Hat USA. EFF is once again excited to be back in Las Vegas for Black Hat USA. If you are interested in submitting a talk to Black Hat, you can contact info at EFF.org about any legal concerns regarding your talk or any sensitive info security research you are conducting. Now let's run through some job postings. First up, General Counsel. EFF is looking for a full-time, energetic, and passionate General Counsel to lead the organization in identifying and analyzing its internal legal risks and needs. Next up, Legal Secretary. EFF is looking for an experienced professional to join our legal team as a legal secretary to support up to nine attorneys in their litigation, appellate, and policy practices. And for our final posting, we've got Chief Development Officer. EFF is looking for an experienced professional to lead the organization's fundraising programs. The Chief Development Officer also serves as a member of the senior management team and works with the board of directors. And finally, let's go through some mini links. 
This first one comes from Access Now. Unsafe Anywhere, Women's Human Rights Defenders Speak Out About Pegasus Attacks. The impact of surveillance is traumatizing for all victims, but it's particularly egregious for women as governments weaponize their personal information to intimidate, harass, and smear, leading to a perpetual state of fear and social isolation. Next up from Bot Populi, Feminist Perspectives on Social Media Governance, a Snapshot. Incidents of online violence do not occur in a vacuum. Shadow banning, trolling, doxing, cyberstalking, and coordinated flagging of women's content in online spaces have real-life ramifications for women and historically oppressed groups. This next one comes from the Washington Post. They clicked once, then came the dark prisons. Danuta Prednia was arrested and sentenced to more than six years in prison. Salma al-Shahab was sentenced to 34 years in prison and to a 34-year travel ban. Olesia Kritsova has been added to a list of terrorists and extremists. They all are being punished for nothing more than posting or reposting something on social media. Next from Bellingcat, recognizing sexual and gender-based violence as an open source researcher. Open source methods are increasingly used to document and report on conflicts around the world. Yet one aspect of this emerging field that remains ethically complex and practically challenging for researchers is sexual and gender-based violence. Our final mini-link comes from Policy. Encoded biases and future imaginaries. Responsible artificial intelligence has the possibility of bringing significant benefits to African women, but it also brings great threats. This paper explores the relationship between women in Africa today and artificial intelligence. And that's it. Thanks for listening. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to sign up for the email version of Effector, which includes links to in-depth coverage of these stories and more. See past issues and subscribe at EFF.org slash Effector. Before we end this issue of the newsletter, I want to let you know that EFF is a member-supported nonprofit organization, and you can help us protect digital privacy, security, and free expression for everyone. Donate to EFF today and even grab a bit of gear by heading over to EFF.org slash Effect. That's EFF.org slash E-F-F-E-C-T. You can become a member for as little as $25 or even sign up for a monthly or annual donor. Thank you for your support and I hope you'll join us for the next issue of Effector.